Okay. Um, in, in terms of when you look at uh, the male predicated chimpanzee hierarchy and then the, the female um, predicated bonobo hierarchy, what are the advantages to, to one strategy or the other? Because they're such close descendants or uh, ancestors of ours. Yeah. Um, speaking uh, in your book, you, you, you mentioned that um, on a DNA level, there were equally as close to chimpanzees and bonobos, but we've been sold the idea that we're um, so much more close to chimpanzees than any other yeah. primate. That is due to uh, the anthropologist not being happy with the bonobo. The anthropologist... <laughs> Uh, we're very happy when the chimp came along because they have a scenario of human evolution where we became the dominant force in, in the world because we eliminated everybody else and we conquered the, the, the earth. Uh, and, and so they have a sort of war, uh, war and hunting focused approach to uh, uh, human evolution. And the bonobo didn't fit. The bonobo is peaceful, female dominated, very sexy. And <laughs> yeah, and Americans. You know, Americans are very prudish, and so the erotic can part of the bonobos they didn't want to talk about. Can you elaborate on what you mean by sexy? Because <laughs> that's not what I think of when I think of a... The, the bonobos have a lot of sex uh, to regulate their society. So I okay. would say three-quarter of their sexual activity has nothing to do with reproduction. It has to do with either pleasure or social relations or reconciling after fights or uh, dividing the food and sharing the food, and then they have sex about it, you know. So the bonobos are a very erotic species, and that was not very welcome in the in the anthropological scenarios. Okay. <laughs> so the bonobo was not popular, and and so they focused on the chimpanzee because chimpanzees kill each other between groups. The males are dominant. The males are very violent, and that fits so much more easily with their scenarios than the bonobo. Even though I think the bonobo is extremely important, and it, I'm so glad we have the two species, chimpanzees and bonobos. Uh, bonobos have a lot of female bonding and, and I would say human society has lots of female bonding so there's, there's a big parallel there right. that is overlooked if we only focus on the males so uh, what element of that story is you, do you feel is neglected because I feel as though um, we can understand how male to male relations maybe um, primates how they relate to each other um, but you mentioned this idea of female bonding uh -huh. um, among bonobos specifically um, so what's what's that element of the story that we're missing um, among primates? And then you said it translates into into humans as well. Or we can gleam mm -hmm. a, a bit of information from that. Well, the results. female bonding of the bonobos, I think, is partly a strategy against male violence. Um, in chimpanzees, males cause trouble for females sometimes, even though most of their violence is male to male. They do re direct it at females, especially in sexual context. And sometimes they direct it at their children when they are infanticidal, so they kill sometimes infants. And so that's a big problem for the female chimpanzee, which is reduced when females are together. So in captivity, I've always worked at zoos with chimpanzees. In captivity, the female, uh, females are together and they help each other against males. And, and the males uh, have to um, restrain that kind of behavior. That's not accepted by the females. And then the bonobo has gone one step further the bonobo females are almost always together, they travel together, they do things together, they're very bonded, and they have put a stop to all of it by dominating the males. So collectively they dominate the males. As a result, there's no infanticide in bonobo society, there's no rape in their society, there's, there's no sexual violence by males. So it's a sort of Me Too movement by the females <laughs> that is uh, extremely effective. And uh, I think that's the advantage of the bonobo society, especially for the females. Yeah. I think that's that's so compelling because I feel like there's striking comparisons to all, to our human society in terms of the that gender difference that you're describing in the relations between mm -hmm. intra um, like sexual dynamics. Uh, like a funny example, like I always joke that like women will never go to the washroom alone, right? They'll always go mm -hmm. with a pair. Um, and and part of that, it, like it seems humorous, but there's an element of ensuring safety that way. Yeah, it's probably a safety measure. That's what I right. guess. Right, and yeah, that's yeah. just anecdotal. And I, I think um, I, I think that's like that's funny to see to see that that's how the problem of like infanticide is solved in the primate community is yeah. through this female bonding behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I think that that's quite interesting. 